Hey everyone, it's Liz, the Frugal Libertarian from FrugalLibertarian.com and today I wanted to talk to you about why it is that libertarians tend to run into republicanism. Why is it that when libertarians are pushed against a wall and literally have somebody with a fist in their face saying, pick one, pick one, we tend to go Republican. Um, now keep in mind that's not every libertarian and I'm not going to pretend like it is. There are so many differences between libertarians. There are the libertarians who are more anarchists. There are left-leaning libertarians who think that it is the government's job to have all these really controlling regulations on people's lives. There are rep representations of every kind of libertarian out there. Um, it's it's a really vast tapestry. You get you have moderate libertarians who, you know, thought that Gary Johnson was right when he said that um, the government should force people not to discriminate against each other. So there are all this like all these different types of libertarians. However, um, a lot of libertarians started out as Republicans or became Republicans because of Ron Paul and later Rand Paul. So there's a connection that way. That's how I ended up as a registered Republican. I am. I'm a registered Republican. Because back in 2008, I had been a registered independent and I wanted to vote for Ron Paul in the Republican primary. So I registered as a Republican. I changed party affiliation to become a Republican and then just never changed, which is partially me being lazy and then partially I wanted to vote for him in the primary again in 2012 and I wanted to vote for Rand Paul in 2016, which didn't end up happening because he had dropped out of the race by the time Connecticut got to its primary and he was not on our ballot. Um, and, and that I think is a big, a big part of it. I think the bigger issue is the one thing that is so anathema to libertarian philosophy, to libertarian politics, to libertarian belief systems, is socialism. Basically, libertarians believe government as small as possible, government that stays out of your life, people having individual rights, the right of the individual overrules the desires of the masses. Um, libertarians are kind of, have always been the party that supports the rights of the minority, whatever kind of minority that is. If it's a religious minority, if it's a racial minority, if it's a sexual minority, or if it's a political minority, which is what we still to this day are. We believe that everyone has equal rights regardless of all of that. And so for us, seeing a system of government be put in place where it becomes closer and closer to mob rule, where it becomes more and more of, well, the community needs this. This is better for the community. So you and your rights and your needs and your beliefs are gonna get trampled because the community wants it. That is terrifying to us, okay? It's terrifying. So we really look at it that way. And socialism, as much as people try to say it's caring and it's giving and it's loving and, and it's taking care of people, it really is the destruction of the rights of the individual over the rights of the majority. It, it's, it's a version of mob rule. It's a, a version of the idea that something that I want is more important than what you want. So I can trample you, I can trample your rights, because what I want is more important. Libertarians are not like that. We do not believe in trampling anybody to get what we want. We will trample nobody. We will leave you where you are and let you live your own life and we'll walk somewhere else instead of trampling over you. So Republicans can lean theocrat. Republicans also, in their theocracy, like to control personal behavior. They're the people that believe the war on drugs is, going, is working or will work eventually. 
you know, you look at the Democrats, they want higher taxes, they want more regulations, they want more government oversight, they want more government control into personal lives. They want social programs that are ridiculous at best. But that's just sort of the, the grand plan of everything that I see on the Democratic side is like the mob rule, the idea that if enough of us want it, we're just going to make it happen which is not the way it works in this country. That's that's not how it works. You're not supposed to be acting like trampling the rights of the little guy is a good thing for society, but that's what you're arguing. That's really why libertarians, when pushed, and I mean when pushed, when basically not given a single libertarian option, will side with a Republican. Because as much as yes, right now, the two major parties are eerily, creepily similar. Their spending is the same. Their programs are the same. There's not much of a difference. However, at least with the Republicans, there is some semblance of the right of the individual continuing. There is the effort at, or at least the lip service to reducing taxes, to reducing debt, to reducing spending. There's at least, you know, an attempt or at least some kind of, you know, at least at least that's in the scheme of things. Whereas the Democrats, it's pretty much no. It's a snowball down a hill into socialism. And that is something most libertarians cannot be comfortable with. We just can't. Um, so, to sum up, why do libertarians tend to lean Republican when we're forced? A, because a lot of us either were Republicans, are still <laughs> Republicans, or support some specific libertarian Republicans. Um, and then the other is because in a, in a world where you have to pick a lesser evil, they are technically a lesser evil because they are not running as fast as they can towards the pool of socialism. And that's just the truth. So I am Liz, the frugal libertarian, who also is technically a registered Republican, but I'm really a libertarian in my soul. Uh, my blog is frugallibertarian.com. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I have more videos coming with topics like this. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.